A Western Pennsylvania facility is making vital parts for U.S. defense. Today, the Secretary of the Navy visited it along with a White House official. I was there for their tour and message about how it's helping the American steel industry. This will be a 72 foot long shaft, which will help a submarine move. 10,000 tons of pressure is forging the 190,000 pounds of steel heated to over 2,000 degrees. The work is being done in Newcastle by Elwood Group and Scott Forge, which invested $100 million together. They've innovated in the process out here by not only investing money, but by thinking through it differently to save me about $30 million on the unit. That is exactly what the U.S. Navy likes to see. The plant makes multiple components for Navy submarines, destroyers, and carriers that will last at least 50 years. Elwood Group supplies steel ingots, while Scott Forge takes it from there. The White House Director of Manufacturing believes it's exactly the type of combination the President likes. He wants to have a strong defense industrial base to defend this country, but at the same time, these are good jobs and good wages for the American people. Tariffs are being attached to some steel products coming into the country, and that's hurting other local steel plants, which have laid off workers. Exclusions have been made for some of those products, but not all will qualify. This country is far better off defending our steel and aluminum industries, which is which is being attacked by an onslaught of dumped and unfairly subsidized steel and aluminum. Elwood Group and Scott Forge are red hot because of the Navy. They're thriving and continue trying to attract new talent to get the job done. It's hard to get uh, the tolerances uh, that we require and it really takes skilled labor. It's great to go out there and see the teams that are supporting American defense. There are 500 employees in the entire Newcastle complex. 36 are working in the joint operation, which is called North American Forge Masters.